Hello, everyone. So as many of you know, I've been streaming in German over the last couple of days, actually. Um, and that's for a specific reason. And that reason I will be discussing today. Hey, David, first one here. Welcome. Hi, guys. How is everybody doing? <laughs> So I just wanted to uh, briefly discuss what's been going on with the channel in the last week. Um, some of you already know, and I thought it was so interesting. So I had to switch to German. And the reason was because my brother, Jeremy Fragrance, went on a German reality TV show. It's called Big Brother for celebrities. Um, and I thought it might be interesting to give my two cents to it. And I have a, a um, large German audience, apparently. So I appreciate them, too. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, Brendan. Hi, MH. <laughs> uh, anybody saw any of this? I'm curious if uh, if this actually came through to the States. Maybe if you follow uh, some hashtags on social media, on Twitter in particular, you might have seen some preview of Jeremy's uh, debut in the mainstream media, I guess, uh, is the right way to put it, uh, the, the whole appearance about uh, on Big Brother. I thought it was entertaining. <laughs> I'm curious how he's going to like it. Hey, from the Netherlands and the UK, welcome to my my European viewers sending love to you guys. Hope Europe is doing well. By the way, what's everybody wearing tonight? For me, it's Amouage Memoir. Let me see if the camera can catch that. That sweet little bottle here. It's actually not that little. I like it. It's uh, to me. It, it's it has like this woody scent that I like. It's very fresh and spicy, aromatic. As yeah, that's what I like about it. Just something a little bit more on the sweet side than usual. But there's still some wood in there, and you know notes of tobacco, which I like. Reddit, man, I should probably le look into uh, Reddit or maybe not. <laughs> awesome. Anyway, um, so I thought I'm going to comment on a couple of things that I've seen on social media. Um, let's say Twitter might be a good way to to check this. So. For those of you who don't know, Jeremy Fragrance went on uh, Big Brother. Let me see if I can find it here. Um, and it's like a celebrity version of Big Brother, meaning that um, some certain type of celebrities from the German speaking area are living together 24 seven under surveillance and they have to compete against certain teams there and uh, it's like a social experiment. I'm sure most of you know this stuff. And so what I thought was interesting is that uh, Jeremy just came in <laughs> and pretty, pretty much straightforward said, um, you know, what? while everybody from those people is trying to um, obviously get some clout, uh, but they don't want to talk about it because it's a very un-German thing to do. Uh, the funny thing was that Jeremy just came in like, hey guys, no, I'm just here to get more popular, which I thought was interesting. And um, obviously people couldn't believe it that he said that. But with that, also, he insisted on in certain rules. So he, <laughs> for some reason, he didn't eat anything for like eight days, which I think is crazy. Uh, don't do that stuff. Um, and the other thing is he did not <laughs> want to change out of his white suit because he said this is his 
uh, almost like his brand and that's how people know him and that's how they have to get to know him. <laughs> so that obviously led to a couple of um, hysterical moments when actually <laughs> I think one of the first challenges was to, that supposed to be that you have to change into some random clothes in order to get out of um, a certain area. I think they were in the attic, like four or five people were in the attic. Jeremy was one of them and that was kind of like a punished punishment area um so it was kind of cold i guess and not not a lot to eat and all. <laughs> so it's kind of crazy stuff when i think about it and so everybody's changing into different clothes in order to get out of the area and then jeremy's like uh sorry guys i have to make a statement but i'm actually not going to change <laughs> like oh my god this guy's made for this um so that was very entertaining i thought uh i, I laughed a lot i have to say um and uh, it was actually kind of fun to kind of tap into the German Twitter community. Uh, they, they have a funny, funny hashtag here. It's called uh, Jeremy Ultras. Here you can see some of the pictures. Uh, I, I, ever since, actually, Jeremy, he left the, uh, the show after eight days or seven days. Uh, he said that he wanted to leave on the highest note. Uh, apparently, he got voted into like a better area. But I don't know, man. I, I think we'll see a lot of him in German TV and in the German mainstream media um, because he's definitely somebody who is controversial and very polarizing. And I thought it might be uh, a little bit of a wasted opportunity because he could have done a little more, a little longer. But obviously, if you paint yourself into a corner the way he did, meaning not eating anything for I don't know what reason, and then also um, not changing your clothes, I don't know how you want to... I, I think the, the show is supposed to go for like four weeks or something like that. So I don't know. It doesn't seem like a long-term strategy. But I do think that other shows will pick him up. And um, I do have to say, though, and I hope he listens to this, bro, if you see that, be careful, man, because they'll use you and they'll use you for views. And I know you're thinking that it's all for your best, but make sure that you're happy, man, because uh, that business, I assume, can be pretty tough. And once they're done with you, they'll just throw you by the wayside. <laughs> so be careful with that, man. Um, yeah, what did everybody else think? Did anybody else see that? Let's see, we got some people here. Uh, what are you guys saying? Uh, ba, 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 ba. Yeah, somebody, Ulrike, Ulrike Koch saw all episodes of Promi Big Brother. She's coming in from Northern Germany. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, I don't know what's going to happen next, though. We'll see. I mean, again, we're not really talking. He did mention that one of the reasons that he wanted to leave was to pick up my mom from the airport. My, my mom is actually living with me or our mom. Uh, she was with us nine months out of this year so far. And she's leaving tomorrow. So he'll be able to pick her up from the airport, which was kind of an interesting way to <laughs> rationalize uh, ending the show. He was also very, uh, very, very sure that he would win. Uh, he might, might have, but I don't know how you win that. So maybe it's like uh, the, the people's champ or whatever. Um, if he would have stayed, he would have win. That's what he said. So I don't know. Let's see some of this stuff here. Um, oh, here's... Bist du sicher, dass du gehen willst? Ja, ich bin sicher, dass ich gehen möchte. Dann gehe jetzt. Mach das, was richtig ist. All right, so Jeremy says, yes, I'm sure I want to get out. Uh, and then he's <laughs> lecturing that lady here. Always follow your heart, do the right thing. Das empfehle ich allen Menschen. Ja. I always say that to everyone. And uh, I don't know why this clip ich is so long. Oh, yeah, that, that's when it got a little crazy. Um, <laughs> That was kind of like the after show. And this is after him like fasting for like seven days. I'm a little concerned, man. 
See, I don't know why he's doing this. Uh, it's a little scary, to be honest. I, I know he's doing his thing. But to what point and to what degree? I don't know, man. As your older brother, I'm a little concerned. And he's getting more and more vulgar, too. So I hope that's going to end. But I guess it's only going to get worse before it gets better. Yeah. Didn't eat anything for eight days, he's saying. Only water. <laughs> the moderators are getting super angry, super antsy. Do you want to go now or you want to go later? <laughs> we would like to talk to you or you're going get, to get out. <laughs> He thinks it was a good decision. And he's saying, if you really want to know the the my real opinion, the I'm gonna say it in a nice way, the camel, uh, the, the straw that broke the camel's back was that apparently every contestant can take three luxury goods with them, and the what Jeremy's saying, as far as I understand, he had asked for a Bible and they didn't give it to him. Uh, and he said that he always sleeps with a Bible next to his bed. And instead, Big Brother told him to put the microphone next to the bed. And he's like, um, and that's why I did like a little snitch. <laughs> it rhymes with snitch. <laughs> and that's why he got really angry, apparently, too. Johannes Evangelium. Den haben die mir nicht gegeben, Alter. Okay. So he, seem, he seems very tense. Uh, honestly, this is also, I mean, he's sharing it, so I'm just going to comment on it. But this is kind of how he talked to me, too, in a certain way sometimes. So I'm a little concerned, bro. Just, man, take a step back, dude. If you take things easier, you, you're actually going to last much longer, and I think you'll be much successful. But I don't even care about your success. I just hope that you'll be fine mentally. And just not burn out or something. Yeah, so <laughs> Big Brother basically just told him, instead of the Bible, you get the microphone, and that's what you're going to put next to your bed. <laughs> and then he's complimenting the, the host on his diet <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Ah, so that was that. Um, yeah. Let's see what else. What do we have here? Um, as far as I know, Jeremy has given up on his dreams to move to Miami and open up a perfumery. Well, first of all, he did buy two, two apartments right in Miami. So he does have real estate there. Um, I always told him to not open a perfumery. I think it's you can't just do that on the side. And I know he wouldn't be involved like to an extent where this would be actually a profitable business. Uh, I think it, he would get bored very fast. Um, but I don't know if he's given up on any of that. I know he wants to come here, but you know it's a little bit difficult with the entry restrictions right now. Uh, Brandon is also asking, what did my German-speaking viewers think of Jeremy's appearance and what's their feedback? I think, honestly, Jer Jeremy, um, initially, he was really like the evil guy from just from, from a team spirit where he wouldn't change and kind of be the doom of the entire group because they couldn't compete. But then uh, other people started kind of infighting with him and talking bad about him behind his back. So everybody was kind of sad for Jeremy. And I think overall he came out positive. And <laughs> well, definitely more people know him now than before. And no publicity is really bad publicity. Uh, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it. O overall, I think there's a, there's a <laughs> split view. Uh, but I would say it's trending positive because it's something different. You don't see that every all the time and i guess he's just the guy the today to be talked about in german television and that's impressive i mean really impressive i just hope that he's doing it with uh i don't know with a way to 
take care of his own health first. And he's been in the business for a long time, in a way, in the spotlight, you know, with his boy band stuff and other things. I actually asked him in the beginning, very beginning, um, before the boy band, I asked him to never drink alcohol on those parties or something like that, and he didn't. But now I feel like the the, the clicks and the dopamine that he gets from that is <laughs> kind of like replacing that anyway. Um, somebody saying, Nicole saying that was the right decision. And because of the Bible, especially, uh, she loves that man. Looks like a lot of um, women that are religious really like my brother. Interesting. Uh, somebody says that in, in a podcast this week, he said that he might eventually do a uh, TV documentary or some, some sort of TV format about his um, move to Miami. We'll see. Yeah, some people say that uh, they hope he doesn't burn out. Some others say he already burned out. Uh, he claimed that it was a fun experience. I don't know. Uh, somebody said that he talked about me in the Big Brother Late Night Show. I haven't seen that clip. Uh, no idea what he was talking about me. I guess, you know, he said that he has a brother. <laughs> not, not much to say about me, I guess. I don't think he follows what I do. Mm, he reminds me of Zoolander when he's doing the photo shoots. <laughs> so, man, yeah. Yassi says she, uh, he or she, sorry, I don't know, uh, that uh, it would be cool to see videos from me <laughs> that are not about Jeremy, I agree. Uh, if you look at my channel so far, most videos have nothing to do with him. But just because of the moment, I thought it might be interesting and uh, entertaining also for people to kind of get my point of view. But yeah, I, I promise this is probably going to be the last time I talk about Big Brother because uh, that, that thing is uh, over. <laughs> Oh, so uh, yes, he said that Jeremy said in the late night TV uh, show that he loves me. Well, talk is cheap, man. <laughs> we'll see. He wants to have a good relationship with me. Well, the door is open, bro, but you got to do your part. Anyway, guys, um, that's pretty much that. I just wanted to give you a brief update on why I've been streaming in German recently. Uh, that's going to come to an end now. I do really like to talk to German audiences because they're thinking so differently. Um, it will be fun. But I, uh, I will be working on more content here now. I uh, have been doing the weekly uploads so far for the Send With Benefits podcast. Um, and I will continue with that, but I'm also working on some more investigative videos, some informational stuff. And uh, yeah, let me know what else you think. If you have any suggestions, I'll be more than happy. I would love to do uh, maybe uh, get together on, a, on an episode with, uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I was recently on a live stream with him. Um, so yeah, we'll see good things are, are are coming and it's just been fun if you guys want to communicate with me more directly you can do that on twitter at big fragrance uh with and um yeah i think that's it i'm wishing you a wonderful rest of the week <laughs> hope everything is good and i'll talk to you in the next one <laughs>